Hello everybody and welcome to the next edition of Paul Mash TV and uh, we're glad that you could join us today and as always you know um, people are getting, giving us better feedback all the time and I'm glad that you're really a big fan of the show and I hope that you'll continue to leave us feedback and give us more positivity on the shows and uh, we appreciate that. Uh, interestingly enough this, on this episode we introduce a uh, inter interview, excuse me, a band from Helsingborg, Sweden, and uh, believe it or not, the name of the band is called Bye Bang, and we're going to be talking to Diddy, the lead singer, and uh, we'll see what he has to say on there. So, without further ado, let's start the show. Uh, Diddy uh, from Bye Bang from Helsingborg, Sweden, with us, uh, and we're going to spend a few minutes with him. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Diddy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Um, so uh, tell me about uh, how it got started for you. Uh, everybody has their own story. Maybe you could let us know. Oh, for me, it started out when I was a kid, when I was sitting on my father's knee, and um, he was playing the piano. He was a great piano player. Oh. And uh, I always sing along as good as I could. But uh, then I started out playing guitar, and I started out playing some piano myself. And then I started out in different bands I, that I started myself. And then one thing led to another, and finally here we are. Oh, that's Bye good. Then. That's good. I'm I'm glad that you made it as far as you did. Um, I like kind of like the name uh, Bye Bang. Uh, maybe you could tell us a little story about that name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that, that's a good story. Bye Bang is actually a small village in Vietnam. It's actually a Swedish paper mill uh, uh, that they built in Vietnam to to help the population there. Uh, many many years ago, and they built it in a in a little village called Bai Bang, and the mm -hmm. paper mill was called Bai Bang. And when we were in the studio recording our first album, we needed a name, and we we were called Double Trouble at the time. We sang in Swedish and we sang in English, and and a lot of bands were called Double Trouble. Steve Ray Vaughan and his Double Trouble, and, and lots more. Then. Uh, I decided to, to change name, and uh, then I saw it in the paper, and it was written so cool. I said, that, that's a good name, Bye Bang. And uh, now nobody thinks about that this was actually a paper mill in Vietnam from the very beginning. <laughs> it's the rock band Bye Bang now. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting story there. Um, well, why don't you tell me about some of the influences that influenced in your life from the time you were little until now? I've been always into to melodies, although I've been listening from the very beginning and started to play out covers with the, uh, Black Sabbath and Deep Purple and all those mm. uh, hard rock bands. But actually, my first uh, very big idol was uh, uh, Mark Boland from T-Rex. And that's a great story because um, it ended up uh, that I uh, recorded uh, one of his uh, biggest hits called Hot Love. And uh, we released it on a single, and that single came to Los Angeles, to Gloria Jones, uh, the Gloria Jones, Mark Boland's widow, his uh, former wife. And she phoned me one day and said this was the best cover version she ever heard of uh, Hot Love. And then she became my manager. And her son, Roland Boland, uh, we often stay... Um, at his house in Beverly Hills when we play in Los Angeles, when we play uh, Roxy, Whiskey A Gogo and Cat Club and those clubs there. So he is, uh, what I can say, uh, my brother from another mother. <laughs> I actually have an original poster of uh, Mark Boland here on my wall. If you can see. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I loved him very much and I, I still do. And, uh, and the family... Gloria and Roland are so, so close, close friends to me, so we, we, we talk uh, every now and then. Okay, well that's good. I, I'm sure that you were also influenced by another band that was real popular in Sweden at one time, especially in the 70s, uh, ABBA. Uh, I mean, I know they've had a lot of, um, you know, uh, yeah, they interesting were, melodies. So. Yeah, they were big in the 70s and 80s, yeah. Uh, I, I really love, love them because all of their melodies, and I also got... A uh, good friend with uh, Frida in Abba. Oh. She's a friend of mine. And when she is visiting in Sweden, uh, we often play golf together. Mm. Well, that's good. Um, 
Now, I understand you just came out with a new album. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the album will be released on Friday, the uh, April 28th, and it's called uh, Rock of Life. Uh, it's uh, the best album we've done so far. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of it. It took some, uh, a little bit longer time than usual. Uh, we always do uh, a new album almost uh, every second year since uh, 2009, but this time it took uh, three and a half years to record because we were playing a lot 2016 and 2015. We visited uh, eight countries last year and nine countries in uh, 2015. So we really didn't have the time to sit down on our back and, and, and write. So, but I took some time with the producer and uh, we sat down and then finally we got it all together. Okay. Um, and we're going to be playing a video of yours in just a minute. Uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that video. Yeah, it's called uh, Only the Best Are Young. Uh, it's an acoustic version of the, the track that we released in 2009 on the album Are You Ready? Um, that album is, or that song is so special to me. I wrote it once for my brother who tragically died too young, too, far, too, too soon. And uh, a year and a half ago, uh, a good friend of ours uh, died in an accident. And... Uh, we were invited to play this song in the church, and, and so we did, and the church was packed, four or five hundred people, and it sounded so good, and a lot of people told us, why don't you record it again, acoustic, and we did. Okay. So uh, now we did a video of it, too. All right. Well, um, I guess that's about all I can think of to ask you, though, but I wanted to appreciate your time for coming out here, and... And I tell all my interviewers this, uh, the people that interview, excuse me, I tell them that uh, if you anything, got anything new to uh, plug in the future, you know, uh, just let us know. Maybe we'll have you back for another interview sometime. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. And we're going to play that video right now, so stay tuned. 